in record-breaking high-energy particle collisions. The Large Hadron Collider was designed to replicate conditions seen shortly after the Big Bang, but broke down soon after it was switched on in 2008. Well, scientists hope the study will bring new insights into the nature of the cosmos and how it became into being. Today, streams of protons were smashed together at energies of 7 trillion electron volts. Now, that's more than three times the previous highest energy level achieved. The collider flings particles around at up to more than 99.99% of the speed of light. And the next big step will be to achieve energies of 14 trillion electron volts. Now, that's twice the current levels. I'm joined uh, from our Bristol studio by Professor Greg Heath. He helped design some of the sensors on the Large Hadron Collider. There was a bit of a hitch this morning before it got up to speed, wasn't there? But you, you must be delighted. Yes, it's a, it's a great day. It's, well, it's the first day of, uh, of the next phase of the operation, which is uh, running the collider, first of all, for the next year and a half at this energy, and before going up to the full 14 TeV, as you said. So, so, so what sort of information are we able, or will scientists be able to glean from this? And how long will it take to actually get to the, to the bottom of it? Because presumably, I mean, there are billions and billions of particles being thrown around now. Yes, we have. Uh, it's going to take a bit of time to, to, to ex investigate this new energy regime. So the first thing we have to do is make sure that the models that we have actually are, are reproduced for the, the standard things that we already know about. And that's going to take us the next half year or so. And by that time, we'll have enough data to really start looking further and see if we can find anything new. So we're talking about Higgs bosons that people might have heard of and other uh, new effects that, that, that our theorists have been predicting for a number of years. OK, and, and I think, as, as we said, I mean, you helped design the set of sensors. I've been reading today that these detectors, some of them are the size of, of blocks of flats. I mean, we're talking about things on a huge scale. They are. They're massive. The, the central part of, of our uh, apparatus is, is about the size of my house. And then it, the, the, there's outside parts as well, which are, which are twice as big again. So it's, it's a massive thing. And for those like me uh, who don't really understand <laughs> physics and science uh, as well as perhaps I should, just explain the significance of this in the development of science, scientific understanding of the, the Higgs boson, the so-called God particle. Yeah, so we have a, a set of uh, a theories that d explain that, uh, the particles that we know about, how, how atoms and, and all of us are made up. Um, and those, in those theories, all our particles have a certain mass. Now, the, we haven't fully explained where that mass comes from, but the late, latest and best theories that we have for that involve this Higgs boson, which is, uh, comes from what's called a field, and the, the Higgs boson is a manifestation of that field, and the particles acquire their mass by interacting with the field, traveling through it, and, and picking up mass as they go along. All right. Uh, uh, Greg Heath, thank you. Professor Greg Heath from uh, Bristol University, thank you very much.